The best junior and senior school choirs in the UK are here in Liverpool for this, the big one, the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year competition. The three junior and three senior choirs will sing to win and be crowned this year's champions. Three junior choirs here on stage have made it through the difficult semi-final stage and have one last opportunity to impress the judges to get one of these. This is what all those hours of hard work and dedication is all about. Who wants it? <laughs> no surprises there then. The three senior choir finalists will be here a little later on to try and win one of these two. And as it's the final, we have a special guest who will sing for us, the amazing Jarmaine Douglas, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, our junior choirs are raring to go. They are, from London, Putney High Junior School. From Hull, Hymers College Junior School. And from London, Derry, St. Patrick's Primary School. Each of our choirs have performed brilliantly to get to the final, but of course only one of them can go on to win. Deciding which choir takes home the trophy are our celebrity judges. Our first judge loves to spread the joy of singing far and wide. She's an expert on all things choral, being a choir director, choir founder and choir conductor. Please welcome Susie Digby. Our next judge is a vocal specialist who's coached and produced top pop acts from Take That to the Spice Girls, and he has a several chart-topping hits himself. It's David Grant. <laughs> and our last judge is a concert pianist and classically trained musician. She's also a performer, having sung in the West End, and as part of the pop group Hearsay, I remember them well. Please welcome Mylene Class. To reach this final stage of the competition, each of our choirs sang a hymn of their choice. Here's a reminder. There's a lot of musical talent here, I can tell you. So for the final, our choirs have each chosen an inspirational song, performing theirs first, Putney High School. Susie, they were great in the semi-final. Have they upped their game again? I think they have. And what I love about this choir is that the full potential, which is enormous, 
um, at this age is being so gently drawn out by a very skillful director. The only thing I, I would say would be a point to work on now is to really work on line mm. so that you're able to teach the singers how to stagger the breathing um, so that you don't have to breathe in the middle of sentences. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, David, what did you make of it? I think for singers of this age, that song contained a high degree of difficulty. It required a real precision and an internal clock to keep the rhythm, and they kept it really well. And uh, I thought that was actually a huge contrast to the first song. And it shows that not only, not only are they good, but they have range. Mylene, were you impressed? I was hugely impressed. I thought it was quite a sophisticated arrangement of that song, a very well-known song, but you made it your own. I thought that you were very focused, and I just thought it was a, a, yeah, a superb performance. Well done. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Putney High Junior School. Well done, guys. You were brilliant. We love being in the finals, so exciting. The girls are excited, they're bouncing, they bounce through their song, and we loved every minute. Our next junior choir finalists are from Hull. It's Hymas College Junior School. We were after an inspirational song. We got one, didn't we? I think with that kind of song, it's got a real sort of pop inflection to it, and you can, you can get into the habit of bending all the notes, and you stayed in control of it. Nothing ran away with you. You were very focused. I feel like this week, you've just really got yourselves together, so well done. Susie, were you happy with that performance? Yes. Um, as always with this choir, the diction is wonderful. Mm. It's an absolute showcase of good diction. And I particularly love those three boys on this end, that side. <laughs> Take a bow, boys. Um, the one thing I would say is tuning was an issue, both sharp 
and flat in places. And so I'd say two things. First of all, if you are accompanied, make sure that you really can hear, that the singers can hear and tune to the accompaniment. And secondly, you do a lot of tuning games and exercises just to get used to listening. David, uh, what did you make of it? Well, as, as Susie said, the diction is superb. And you're a lovely sounding choir. You actually have a, a sound of your own. And I think that's possibly because of the number of boys you have. Maybe it's because of your arrangement. But the sound of the choir is great. On the side of things that need to be tightened up or could be, it wasn't quite tight everywhere. There was the odd end of line. But overall, it was a really very, very good performance, and you are going to cause us a problem. There we go. Thank you very much, judges, and for the time being, big thank you to Highlands College from Hull. Well done, guys. I agree with everything the judges said. They, they did mention how good our diction was, which I was really, really pleased with. I think that was definitely our best performance because we all just put 100% into everything and we couldn't do anything better. Last up in the junior competition final, performing their inspirational song from Northern Ireland, it's St Patrick's. to St. Patrick's Primary School there. Give us your fighting face again. <laughs> I was always too scared to walk on the platform, I was. Uh, David, they're good, aren't they? They grabbed that song by the throat from the first bar and they never let it go. The great voices, committed performance, animated faces. It was as though you found the hardest arrangement of that song in the world <laughs> and did it brilliantly. However, <laughs> what we saw there was one very good performance of a type. We've seen three very good performances of a type. Miley, what did you make of that? I was absolutely blown away. I think the performance you just put across there is such an elaborate uh, arrangement and you attacked every single line. All the layers were balanced. Nobody was overlapping anybody else or trying to take over. You should be very, very proud of yourselves. Susie, are we ending the junior final on a high? <laughs> drama. Wow. The thing about communicating drama at that level, I counted 16, that was one six, different moods and feelings that came across to me very clearly, and it was very clear exactly what subtle mood was intended behind each word or each phrase. That's really hard if you also want to keep 
the discipline, the choral discipline of the tuning and the bl blend and the balance and the diction and all these things. And I'm afraid I can't find anything to criticise. Thank you, St. Patrick's.